to do with the massive amount of propane exports. According to the federal government, in November, propane companies shipped more than 410,000 barrels of propane a day out of the country, the highest amount of propane exports ever. And it was right in the middle of the peak propane season. Hi folks, this is E.T. Prepper. I have a SHTF situation right now. <laughs> and I filled up my propane a while ago and it was $1.49 a gallon contract pot price. And I come back and I from a trip and it's now nearly five dollars a gallon. It it peaked, it's coming back down, but I'm not ready for that. I don't have an alternative energy source in my house. No way to heat my house other than propane. So I'm stuck. And that is not that doesn't fit the bill for me. So this weekend I'm putting in a wood burning stove and I am gonna wean myself off of propane as much as possible and use it in a limited fashion for cooking gas and so forth and minimize the impact it's going to have to me. I just want to encourage you to look at your energy usage. Is there any way you can move away from a fixed energy? Well, in the coming days, I'll, I'll have my, one of my wood burners hooked up and running. In the near future, what about electric? So there's solar, there's diesel generation, there's all sorts of stuff. So you got to ask yourself, as far as energy goes, are you ready? Can you, can you handle a upset such as tripling the price of your fuel? So what do you do when you are super low on propane and super low on funds? Not everybody can handle a $2,000 propane tank refill. So what do you do? Well, immediately when your tank is like this, crank the heat down. To, everybody can put layers on. Get it down to about 56 degrees in the house. Put covers over the windows. Like if you don't have curtains in place, put put a blanket over the windows or sheets, something to, to keep the uh, heat in as best as possible. Use your head, use, your, use common sense, and keep the heat in. Find an alternative energy source. The bottom line is you need to use as little as possible and keep what little you have in your tank and stretch it as long as you can. Cooking gas doesn't use a lot, but your water heater consumes quite a bit of gas and your furnace consumes the most. And anything that consumes gas, try to minimize it. Then after we get through this crisis, let's look at ways to do things differently. Like, for example, a solar stove, solar heat for your hot water, etc., etc. There's always other alternatives out there. Many times they're not easy, and especially when it comes on quick, like this one did, you don't have time to respond. So now's the time, with summer coming, figure out how you're going to skin the energy cat.